Hello, welcome to the first me pastorisk dev vlog. You might be wondering why I'm not using my voice for this, as I have used it in the past for other videos. I find them very cringy and please don't watch them. Anyway I just seem to put a lot more thought into what I type rather than what I say. But if you want me to read off of a script in the future let me know. Sometimes I may talk about other games and their updates, but that's for the future. So today we will be talking about, the neighborhood update, containing a new map and a new puzzle. Oh yeah and by extension we will also talk about, the St. Patrick's Day update. Firstly, we will start with St. Patrick's Day and move up to the new map. What St. Patrick's Day brought us was two familiar skins. If they don't look familiar, then that's fine, as these were the first event skins to exist. However they were, different before. Yeah I know you can't see due to the white background but these actually had tiny white dots from outlines. That's because these were taken from Club Penguin. But they have now been changed and are no longer copyrighted thanks to FNAF Tester Not Real. Go check him out. He is currently working on his own bear fan game called Stickbots Y Dollar. Anyways there is also now a new trophy to earn in the hotel. First just grab the keycard to open the staff room. Then enter the staff room and avoid the unknown liquid and touch the pot to begin a small game of tech. All you need to do is touch the pot 5 times. However the pot will keep teleporting around. But once you manage to touch it, you will earn your gold, or in your case, a trophy, and a meep skin. Moving on, there has been some remastered items. Originally, certain items looked realistic and seemed out of place from the game. But now we have changed certain items such as the globe, beans can, fuel can, and helicopter. They now fit with the Roblox style. Also here is an old version of the helicopter. Anyway, now it's time to move on to the neighborhood update. The layout is supposed to be like the small grassy layout from Meep City. The houses are based off of the small, medium, rock, wizard tower that is nearly fully destroyed, igloo, trailer, treehouse, and the altar now has a sort of roof on it and is on fire. You must get the fire extinguisher and use it on the altar. If you look near the lakes, you can see a ruby forger. After collecting 3 rubies, you will need to collect the ruby artifact. If you've played the other maps, you will know it looks so. However now the artifact is in pieces and you need to find them all. However, once you find all the pieces, you can put them in the forger. Once you do that, you can get the artifact and put it in the ruby machine. One more thing before I wrap this up. I wanted to show you the sounds of the fire extinguisher altar. It's actually just me but with effects on my voice. Listen for yourself. Fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher. Anyway that's all for now. Let me know what else you want me to do with this series. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you next time.